Hey Bidgets, my name is Free Real Estate, and today I wanted to show you what my realistic college routine looks like. A lot of you wanted a glimpse into my current life because you're either going to college soon or you're just curious. I didn't think I would make this video until I noticed that literally all of the routines I see on YouTube are either too perfect or unrealistic, like bitch good for you if you can wake up at 5am in the morning and go to the gym, but that's just not how I function. I know a lot of people tend to assume that YouTubers lives are dramatically different, but I don't fit in I think. I don't know, I don't live in in LA so I guess I'm not a true YouTuber but uh, nothing's really changed for me so I just wanted to show you like a typical routine that I go through as a freshman so anyways here's my real psychology routine that I do like 90% of the time because the other 10% is I don't get out of bed in time and I have 10 minutes to go to class because my earliest classes start at 10.30, I get to wake up to my 8 a.m. alarm, and then the 8.15 alarm, and then the 8.30 alarm. Sometimes the 9.30 one, which is my big red button. On Mondays and Wednesdays, I end up waking around 7 because my roommate has earlier classes. But lately, I've been able to sleep past his alarms because my body refuses to leave my bed, even if it means missing class. If I'm motivated enough, I'd get out of bed at 8.30, but usually I end up staying in bed until 9, watching TikToks and reading more about how the world is going to end. And once I haul my ass out of bed, I put on my shower shoes because I refuse to touch the floor when I'm rooming with three other guys. I'm sorry, y'all gross. And you know, I'm a clean freak. This is actually how my hair looks when I wake up, so stop asking for a hair routine because there isn't going to be one. Then I open up my food drawer to see what I want to eat, and yes, Asians always deck out their dorm with snacks. I usually just pick a bowl of Cheerios with soy milk because being Asian, your boy can't have dairy or else I went boom boom on a leaf. I also drink a cup of tea just because it's too much work to make coffee anymore even though I have two bags of coffee. And sometimes if I don't feel like making breakfast, I'll just go to our dining hall and get stuff like this. And yes, I do get lemon slices from there because I need my daily intake of lemon water. Let's just open up my curtain to see the gorgeous New York City view I get. My mug says autumn even though it's winter, don't at me, it's the only mug I have and it was like $2 from the clearance section at Target. And yes, the rumors are true, NYU only uses metal straws so save the turtles. Our desks have this one place that we can pull out so I just put my plates on it. And if you pour your milk before your cereal, I don't trust you, stay away from me. And this is how I do my bed. Yeah, I don't move much in my sleep, and I also shove all the bed sheets between the wall and the bed because it's easier and I'm just lazy. And I always remind myself that I'm the shit. Then I look up at my Greek god, Conan Gray. I actually have two murals of him. I also take a look at my one and only plant that somehow survived without sunlight and water for more than a month. Water's done boiling, so we just pour that in. I either drink black tea or a random flavor that I did not steal from our dining hall. They just didn't see me grab the bag. And then I just eat breakfast. It takes me about five minutes to finish everything, and I also go check all my social media while eating. By the way, follow me on all of these because there's almost 500,000 of y'all. Thank you, by the way. But I know damn well you have TikTok and Instagram in this society. By now, the tea's done brewing and I add about a tablespoon of honey in it, except because I just got back from a winter break, the honey kind of, what's the word? Crystallized? Solidified? I'm telling you, I'm not weak. I've actually been trying to work out more, but this shit doesn't budge. I actually fix it by just washing it under hot water, but I do wash my dishes after eating because I'm a clean freak too. And here's my DIY drying rack. At this point, my tea isn't scalding hot, so I can drink it. I also take a multivitamin, except sometimes if my tea is really hot, it melts it while it's in my mouth and then it tastes really bad. Oh, and before you ask, I use a straw because it prevents your teeth from being stained yellow. I don't know who taught me that, but I, I believe it. And yeah, I do spend maybe 10 minutes just drinking tea because I hate being in a rush. Last semester, I'd wake up literally 10 minutes before class and it just wasn't worth the extra 30 minutes in bed. And because my roommate leaves really early, I just have a room to myself for like two hours. He's also from a really hot country, so he can't handle anything below. 70 degrees god forbid but he has morning classes and i prefer freezing and then i go to my body care products and this is when i can say this video is sponsored by native i've seen their products all over instagram you probably have too and i wanted to try them out so i reached out because they're vegan cruelty free you know free of aluminum paraben sulfates and the majority of the ingredients are understandable like coconut oil and shea butter i prefer using vegan and cruelty free products it's just my personal preference and i've been trying to find an alternative deodorant because the ones i currently use have aluminum and i don't think it's good for the body because it's a metal. So I reached out to them and they sent me three scents, coconut and vanilla, eucalyptus and mint, and citrus and herbal musk. I don't have all of them on me, I only have one because the other two are back in my house, so I'm sorry. If I had to rank them, citrus and herbal musk is my favorite because it smells the most masculine, I guess? And then eucalyptus and mint is the unisex one, and then coconut and vanilla smells exactly how it sounds. They also have body wash, toothpaste, and other products on their website, and their build your own deodorant pack, which is the one I got, is usually $30, but you can save an extra 20% with this code, 
code MA20. I think it stands for Midget Asian 20. Link is down below. And thank you again, Native, for helping me pay for this freaking NYU tuition. And you guys understand I only talk about products that I genuinely use. I've had these for around two months, so they work for me. And then I take my morning shit. By the way, I filmed this after I washed my hands, but you get the point. After that, I start my long, intense, detailed, exquisite skincare routine. You all know. I'm not going to list every product because we'd be here for about 20 more minutes. But if you want to watch my whole skincare routine, I have a video about that and you can click right up here. I don't do this every day, but sometimes I'll turn on my diffuser because I either want the room to smell better or it's because the air is just really dry and I can't breathe. So I just want it to be humidified. Favorite scent is lemongrass because, you know, I have an obsession with lemons. And if I'm in a really good mood, I'll do some makeup. And before you say, Frederick, your skin is perfect. No, it's not, beach. Y'all forget that YouTubers have high quality cameras with amazing lighting and blurring lenses. And y'all know being far away from a camera makes your skin look perfect. And I'm pretty far away from the camera right now. Granted, this is natural light, but you're not going to be able to see any of my blemishes unless I get up close. But recently, my skin has been doing really well because when I went back home for winter break, I didn't bring any of my makeup with me. I've been trying to stop buying makeup products and just focus on skincare because I believe skincare is more important than putting on makeup. It's just my opinion because I don't feel like I need to do it anymore and I'm just trying to get rid of all my products because I don't want to rely on makeup to feel confident and neither should you. It's like I'd rather have good skin than look like I have good skin. But because I want to get rid of all my products, I have to use them up. So I start off with a mattifying primer because your boy has very oily skin even during the winter. I don't usually use brushes or beauty blenders because my hand works fine and I'm too lazy to use them. And I don't feel like paying for more tools that I won't use. My foundation is literally in a sample jar because it's made up of about five different foundations that I got for free from Sephora. You know when you go to Sephora and you can get a free sample? Yeah, it literally takes me 10 uses to get through one foundation sample so I just don't buy any. Every time I go to Sephora, I just ask for another sample and I add it to the jar. And I only put it over my scars, not the mental ones. And the dark circles I get for refusing to fall asleep at a reasonable time. I used to put on maybe a pump or the foundation, but I still feel like it's too cakey for me. I hate the feeling of having makeup on my face. It's just, I, I don't like it. So I try to use the bare minimum. And here's a close up of my face after the foundation. Then I take this glossy blush because I don't have a single area, a single spot, a single cell that is red on my face. Boys with natural blush on your cheeks, fuck you. Oh, and if you guys have long eyelashes too, fuck you too, because you don't understand my struggle. Anyways, I put the blush really high up on my cheeks and on my nose, but I put like one drop total and I mean a drop because glossy blush is like pure pigment and I'm not trying to look like I have coronavirus up in here. Like y'all on TikTok who look like you have the Snapchat filter of blush, good for you, but that's like the 100% look and I want 10% of that look. Then I take this e.l.f. highlighter and literally do one swipe because if I do more than one, I look like an oil spill and I rub it between my fingers and just pat it on my cheeks. Next comes eyes. I have one palette that Lucy gave me and I still haven't hit pan on it after a year. I take the two brown colors and I swipe it all over my eyes because I just want a little definition, but I'm too lazy to do the fancy stuff. Then I do my eyebrows with the black shadow in the same palette. I don't do much. It's just filling in some spots and I want this palette to be used up because I can't go through any makeup products simply. Last step is just a tiny bit of powder and I mean like one dip in the pot because I don't bake and I don't think anyone needs to. I think it's unnecessary and it just makes my eyes look even drier and cakier. But that's just my opinion. Y'all can go listen to the other beauty gurus who have professional lights and a thing called... <clears throat> Face tune. Oh, and money? Now it's time to get dressed, and yeah, I'm also an organization freak. Don't remind me. Typically, I first choose a top and then pants to match, then the socks, belts, and shoes. It's also been cold lately, so sometimes I wear a coat. And unfortunately, I'm a short bitch, so I have to roll up my pants usually. And I also have to lint roll my pants because everyday lint just gets everywhere in a college dorm. Excuse me, I'm just checking out myself in the camera because I'm confident now. Then it's time to pack my Mary Poppins backpack. Some of y'all still think I was serious in that video, and I'm just gonna say you're gullible. But first, I always pack this electronics case. It has literally every cable I own just in case of an emergency. You know, portable chargers, my hard drive. Then I have a pencil case. I also have this face mask because even though I don't want the coronavirus, I want to still look cute and not like a doctor because I'll never become one. Mom and dad, all right, stop thinking. Then I carry my iPad and my Mac, which adds maybe 10 more pounds to this already heavy backpack. I always carry a reusable water bottle on you because hashtag save this god awful earth. And then I have a bunch of random necessities in this small pocket and I'm not going to list them all because they're all random. If it's a new month, I'll redo my calendar and I always try to have my important events on it just to remind me because even though I write them in my phone calendar and set reminders, I still forget. And that's basically everything I do in the morning. So if you enjoyed this video, give it a like, leave a comment down below suggesting more videos you'd like me to do, whether it's about college or just New York City in general. Subscribe for more videos whenever because since college started again, I probably can't do every Saturday. So just make sure my notifications are on just in case I'm a little bit late. All right, I love you guys and remember everything is less than three.